Good evening everybody. Finishing up the wiring on my Elksmaker 3.5 watt uh, blue laser. It has the uh, separate control board. The lower input here is the TTL and the upper is power. So what happens is when you connect these to 12 volt and normally they just have a standard barrel connector that goes to the power in it'll do a pre-fire if you're booting up anything running like Marlin, which I am on my uh, 52 by 82 Lowrider 2. It's a little bigger than it used to be. It used to be a 24 by 48. So what I've done is I've run the power out of fan 2. I pulled the shrouds off of these. And then these two pins are for the TTL and they've been remapped. So uh, to a, a TTL output. So basically it's reading from 0 to 5 volts instead of 0 to 12 Which this one has the TTL not the PWM These two are permanent ones a fan and this one with the red wax on it's the laser input What I've done is I've wired a resistor in line on the TTL and That makes it so when it powers on it doesn't do the test fire the laser because normally it comes on 100% for a quick blip and it'll burn a mark similar to what those are so let me slide this down to the new spot and I will turn this on and you'll hear the fan come on and you'll hear it power up and the screen will boot up but there is no fire it does a quick, like 100%, you'll see a blue line go across and burn, but it no longer does that with the resistor. And you just put that in line to the TTL and you're good. So now when I go down to the fan, which is temperature on the Marlin, and if I go anything above 0%, and you've got to hit enter to get it to accept the adjustment. So that's not as bright as not as it is. You're seeing it without the green. I'm going to get that without my flash. You see a tiny dot. The camera on the cell phone amplifies it. But what I found is when you go to turn this off, if you go back to zero, which is right there it actually stays on so you have to just turn it one notch below zero and the dot will go out the control board has a test button here so you can do a test to get it focused and it's actually not burning it's just a blue test and it's all but you can use that to center your work but I'm going to finish uh, wiring this up. I'm actually removing my DeWalt 611. I'm going to install a power con connector here, a twist lock. And I was going to put a connector here, but I decided not to. I just got to put the cover back on. And I've actually printed a base to mount this as the exact diameter as a DeWalt 611. And it drops right into the base. And there's plenty of holes for cooling. And there's a huge fan on the back that pulls air through all the heat sink. And then this all mount up to the side of my 3D printed mount for the control board. I did have, I still have this mount, but I modified and it makes it so I can mount this to my uh, i3 3D printer. But if you have any questions, just post them below. And I should have this going shortly and doing some. Uh, Test burning. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and share. And like I said, if you have any questions, just post them below and I'll uh, put some links down there. This laser was actually 50% off, so it was only like $75. Um, 3.5 is enough for me to engrave. I basically wanted it to engrave my logo.
from uh, woodworking on the backs of my wood pieces. And to be able to do some larger pieces, which I can, when I have a 52 wide and the table is actually 8 foot long, I can do a 6.5 foot by about a 52 inch wide now. Thanks for watching.